All right, I was asked to show how to install the water level sensor on a Tetanauer autoclave. So here's a Tetanauer, an easy 10 just for show. An old parts unit, don't worry about that. Uh, forgetting the add water message, and you've clearly got water here, check your water level sensor. Um, all you really gotta do is home these out. If it's in the res and it's full, this piece is up, you should be getting a resistance reading across these two. Just put your meter there. If you get an OL, then this is your problem. This thing is not working. Um, they do fail, not often. So all you've got to do is install it. See, here's the hole where I took it out. You've got to reach down in there. If you've got small hands, you can reach in there. Otherwise, pull the safety valve out and you get more access. And safety valve comes out pretty easy. All you need is, what is this? 19 millimeter? Whatever that is in standard. I can't think right now. Uh, another wrench to put on here. Boom, once it's out, you can reach in here pretty easy. So, all I gotta do, first thing is figure out which side is up. I made a little mark to show me which is the top, but also there's this in the back, this little red dot. So, that's where you want it to be top. Kit comes with a gasket. Slide the gasket on there. Alright, I like the gasket on the inside where the water is, you can put one on the outside if you want also, doesn't matter. Anyway, drop it in, I gotta do a snake or fish those little wires to the hole. There we go. Right, pull them through. Push that whole threaded body through the hole. There we go. Red dot's still up, so we are in up position. Almost. Alright. Now the nut. Alright, so you get that nut on there. Don't go crazy. It's plastic. If you try to over torque it, you're just gonna break it. You don't even need a wrench. Just your hand more than enough to make it snug. Now, if you want to put some silicone out here, it's a waste of silicone, but that's fine. If you want to put an extra gas, get out here, it's not a bad idea. All right, now, as far as where you plug it in, these are the wires going to it. These little black guys it might be different color than yours. And that's it. And now, if I had a front panel, let's go to this one. Now when you turn it on and you have water in here and that is floating up because it's like why it's called a float switch, the add water light will go off. If the add water light is still on, you have ohmed out these leads and verified that this is working properly. Check continuity on these two wires, nor that I just rip one off. Uh, those two wires trace those to the front. Should be this one right here. Um, actually, no, I have to get to this one in a ground wire, but trace it, check continuity, make sure your cabling is good. After that, your adjunct board might be the problem. All right, good luck out there.